Good afternoon from Oka Anambra State of Nigeria. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you're meeting me today for the first time, hi, my name is Linda and I'm a mommy vlogger based here in Oka. Where are you watching me from? And again, why did you click to this particular video? Please leave these questions down the comment section I would love to know okay yes so guys welcome back today <sighs> today I'm here to shake table okay yes if you want to hear everything I have to share in this video please make sure to keep on watching things that I want us to abolish this year 2021 in fact from this year 2021 until eternity because in this new age and time guys we shouldn't be thinking like our grand great grandfather thought or think in their time there are like a lot of things have changed but yet you still find men still believing in some things that our great grandparents were doing at their own time and this is what i want to talk about today guys a lot of us will relate that uh, let me just put it specifically for the Igbos, like our culture the Igbos in culture i don't know if it is so with other tribes but if you're from uh, other different states and tribes and you can relate to this thing also with your culture don't forget to leave it down in the comment section these are my thoughts of the things i think we should stop doing from this year 2021 this way it will enable us peace this way it will enable us growth yeah like we can remain in one place this way it will give us love this way it will give us understanding okay so what is number one thing that we have to abolish from this year 2021 and forevermore one <laughs> that i will not marry a woman who have married before yes our old parents did these things like i be a second hand that you are second hand once you marry and get divorced nobody will marry you again eh like like seriously in this age now mba, we need to delete it our parents were wired in a way to accommodate rubbish remain in marriage because of their children but in this our age and time here now mm -mm, we cannot take shit mm -mm. not be miss that i'm not saying that me i can't take shit there are shit that i'm taking man, keep wrong, man, keep wrong. i take shit here <laughs> but there are shit that i can't take that our mothers took their time okay so this shit of i'm sorry i'm using s words okay those things that they did at the time that once you get married and get divorced no man is going to marry you guys drop it if you're a man watching me now even if it is five persons that this video touched please drop it as long as that woman was not just out of her marriage over infidelity adultery or killing you'll be like mm -mm, i can't marry her she had married before your mother will tell you that you can't marry this woman that she has married before Oga, please let nobody deceive you no more stop it okay as long as she did not commit abomination to be able to leave that her marriage please let's put a stop to it if a woman is in a marriage that a man is maltreating her abusing her doing all sort of things to her you will remain in that marriage because if you come out no other man is going to marry you sister sister no go die you mm -hmm. then number two this one is very important because they did it to me in fact including my sisters they'll be like 
don't marry a woman from Oka. Uh, we don't go to a Ziag. Our village people, we don't marry from a Ziag. Oh, uh, in fact, my husband's people, they do this one. They'll be like, Oka people, they don't marry from Imo State. As in, who does that? <laughs> Please, we need to abolish it. Okay? This year, 2021 and forever. Let's stop it. Yes, some villages can be bad or some states can be bad, but that doesn't mean that in one carton of eggs or one basket of eggs that you won't find two or three that are good inside it. It's not possible. Or, ofakarota manozua run. No, even till today, our village people, we don't go to Ngwa. Because we believe that those days, Ngwa people were chewing people. I ate the mother of Ngwa. You understand? Today, we find it difficult to go to Imo State. From my village, if you say your man is Imo woman, be like, hey, okay, it's not all Imo Like, it's not all Imo people. Mbisa people can be expensive to be married, or Imba, no. But Idato people, Mbiri people can be cheap. You understand? So, guys, guys, make your investigations. Don't say that our parents did not do that, you will not do. Mm -mm. Our time and their time are the gitche. It is different. Okay? Number three. <laughs> they will be like, don't marry a woman that her family are separated. <laughs> like, you come, it's not advisable to marry a girl that her father and her mother are divorced. That it is likable for the girl to also get divorced when she get married. As an organ. Who said that? This weird. The black, like <laughs> those days, because uh, <laughs> my ancestors don't have to come out and burn but una una foolish. Unu zuzu zuzu. Ogen kun unu mire mum. Me person no first slap me in the night. In fact, as I'm talking, <laughs> yeah, who dash them power? Daughter of Zion, they come. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Guys, please ignore this thing. I need to shoot this video because my foil is burning and I can't continue to wait for these people. They are offloading sand or stone. I don't know. So, you will be like, eh, eh, don't marry her. Don't you know that her father and her mother are separated or they are divorced? If you marry this girl, she did not get home training. She did not, uh, they did not train her to know that she will remain in marriage forever. This kind of girl, if you do her bad, she will not forgive you because she will know that her mother never forgave her father that made the mother leave her marriage. And uh, if you marry this girl, she will be looking at her mother. And uh, since her mother did not make it in her marriage, that she will equally go as, oh, a lot of excuses. Guys, we need to abolish it. I know plenty of women plenty that are divorced but their daughters are making good homes in fact i have my cousin sister who was eating shit she was enduring endurable did in her marriage and she refused to come out because her mother and her father are divorced like her mother and her father are separated and the father had married another woman so her mother also married another man she was in that marriage in okay she said she can't come out because people will say that yes because her mother did not make it she did not equally make it and this will cause her own children not to get married when they grow up this girl wanted to die like the day they went to rescue her if you see her you would think that she has all the whole sickness in this whole world so malnourished but she's marrying a rich man but very wicked man this girl wanted to die because of that singular, because when I asked her, she was like, if she come out now, they will say she couldn't make it in her marriage. That what happened to her mother happened to her. And it, it, they will find it difficult to marry her own children because she has three boys and three girls. My age mates, very like, so if you see this girl, even after six children, you will not believe it. Very intelligent. We went to special science school together and she was taking first until we finished from school. If if somebody would tell me that this girl will, will marry such a man in my life, I will not accept man. But today, thank God she bravely walked out and she's doing pretty well today. So we need to abolish it. Please. If only we lost this, my sister, God forbid, now, nah, it would be that she's running, not to come out in marriage. No, no, those mentalities should be zeroed. It should be zeroed. 
Ha! Huh, this one is spending me too much because so many want them. Sorry guys, let's move on. Another one! I don't even know if I'm number four or five. That if you have a child outside the wedlock, you will not marry. Like in the book. Ito ti no no, you will not marry again tomorrow. Let me use Uche Ubudu. That uh, Nigerian movie attracts. If you don't know her, Uche Ubudu, she's from Inugu State. Yes. She married before, had a daughter, and uh, divorced. Now she got pregnant and she didn't abort it. A lot of people were coming for her. I recently watched her IG live where she was lamenting and saying a lot of things that ladies die at her age. I think she says she's 35. I think, yeah, that people were expecting her to go and do abortion to avoid the book or to avoid the woman. Like, like, is it, is it a must that a woman must marry? Women who remain single waiting for a man to marry them 40, 41, 45. You will remain single, enter monopause. I don't believe in that. I so much believe in what she did because I will do it as long as I'm doing something that I can be able to take care of my children. Abortion is he good. Children, or more jump or jump anywhere where children child come from is a good thing mawe homa by happy and way by crooked way by a here by with the baby na baby whether you're married or single child na child so we need to abolish that mentality that uh, if you bring a child at home you will not marry or if you get pregnant out of wedlock you did abomination ah you may book it and this that like stop it another one this one they happened today. How can I met it today? That if you don't buy a son for your Igbo husband, he's gonna look for a heir. By all means, someone that will replace his name, that will bear his name. Brother, mpa, ma, you lie. Ashe, ashe, uncle. We need to stop it. Child is child. We cannot be learning other things from Ndocha and we will not learn that one. Let's equally learn it from white people. Eh? Why is it that when a woman don't have a son in her home, she will be scared? Hey, my husband is going to marry another wife. Or, oh, I'm not... Uh, how will I say it in English? That in your marriage, you're not settled. You're standing with one leg. Meaning that you can, they can throw you out at any minute because you did not have a son. As an eh, uh, a daughter is not a child. A daughter, I did not carry it nine months. Eh, uh, uh, I vomited it. I did not push it. Eh, uh, we should stop it. I want to have a son. I'm not saying that I want to have girls. Eh, uh, 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 uh -huh. you give me a son, but not because I want. Uh, uh, that I'm scared if I don't be a son, my husband will divorce me or he will marry another woman or age move for my naranaka about a chabe of man a marriage. This, that, that. No, I want to have a son because I want to experience a girl child and a boy child bringing them up and them being my children. I just want to experience it. I really want to. Like, let me compare. But if for adventure, God is in a mama, God forbid, though, and uh, I will not kill myself. And there's a, a girl will not marry another man, another woman. And I am balanced in my marriage. Yes, that is the mentality I want you men to see. If you are a man watching me, please, please stop it. Stop it. Don't make this world as if it's only evolve or evolve around you men. No, no. Sometimes I used to say, <laughs> one day I'm a Japanese boy. I can't fight God. Mama, the me entire entire I I I bite his anus. I bite God in his anus because he cheated women so much. When you compare and contrast the life of men and the life of women, what men go through and what women go through, when I hold my own mind, we suffer too much. We suffer. This video is becoming too long. Like if I start to mention everything, we will not live today. But let me just say this last one. Finally. Another one is don't marry in a in, in family that are polygamous. Like a family that uh, maybe the, your fiance, the father married five wives 
or sis wife or this that that don't marry into such family because you will face too much battle because a uh, witches and wizard because your husband is likable to also do what the father did because uh, in their family if their father can do it uh, that means it is not abomination to them because uh, polygamous is not from God they don't believe in God such family that are polygamous in nature they don't believe in God la, la, woo, woo. guys <laughs> my father-in-law Abu Nemure Polygamit. <laughs> my father-in-law is the chairman of Polygamit. My father-in-law. One day I'll give you guys story time about him. I don't know him, but the things I heard about him. He's the chairman of Polygamous family. Yes. But look at my marriage today. And I can attest. In fact, I can swear that my husband can never marry two wives because <laughs> only myself I they give and war battle. I wouldn't buy the boy. He will just go and hold up. He will go and commit suicide and die. <laughs> So, because <laughs> the kind eye when we open now, not be the kind eye where our mother opened those days. <laughs> Before you will see all these our slave babies, no twine, and our husband will come and marry two wives. Or that possible? <laughs> Oga will not spend one week and they be your bitch wife. Yes, because only me, they want him. Nanya go dear cha 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 nya kwa 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 awuru ba de bo upon side the good girl all this you unlock now go and marry the bad wife hey chinekele peace ala so i'm not even thinking it because it happened during the time of our great grandparents shouldn't be that it will happen in our own time if you get a fiance who are polygamous in nature or who their family is from a polygamous family marry marry eh? hey. oh guys i'm gonna end it here if you leave me i will rant from now till tomorrow because this my cousin's own was what prompted me to come and make this video like it i was so upset i was super upset anyway this will come to the end of this video thank you so much if you watched up until this point i truly appreciate don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share and uh, let's interact down the comment section did you relate was i relatable let's know let me know your thoughts equally